Hello, I'm Luke Hatfield. Alongside me is Joe Edwards. We're here at Compton Park. It's a Jack Haywood training ground. Just been speaking to Nuno. In, in, in good spirits, I think, Nuno. Yeah, he was. He was, and he was... In total, it was about 20 minutes, the press conference, which by noon our numbers is quite a long uh, amount of time. But yeah, it took, took the time to, to have just have a nice chat, really, with, yeah. with us all today. Um, of course, not you know, giving massive amounts away. That's that's new now. He keeps his cards close to his chest, but um, had some nice things to say, particularly about Morgan Gibbs White. There'll be more of that in the paper soon. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, he spoke quite openly on quite a number of topics. Yes, yeah, certainly did. Happy about the win over Cardiff, of course. And yeah. now, you know, looking ahead to the Chelsea game, a uh, bit of a different proposition, Chelsea to Cardiff. It's going to be much tougher yeah. uh, on paper, but it seems like it's a challenge which Nuno is really embracing. He is, and, um, you know, obviously Chelsea played last night in the Europa League. Um, I asked him if there's potential to exploit that. He says no. Uh, of course, they're, they're, they've made changes to, to their usual team last night. Uh, there, there was the likes of Willian and, and, and Jorginho and Kante who were involved that will probably play, but um, the big hitters like Hazard and Higuain didn't play. And he's particularly wary of Higuain as well. He's uh, new now, says he's a very, very good striker, um, you know, very sharp in and around the box. And the keeper will have to be very aware of that. And he revealed that it's going to be very, very uh, Patricia back in the sticks. That's right, you know, uh, Ruddy stepping in and keeping himself warm ahead of the cup game uh, yeah. against United. But um, looks like it's going to be back to Rui now. It's not not the biggest surprise in the world, is it? It's not. It's not now. And um, you know, we got Ruddy back in for to be prepared for the cup game was was known as reasoning. Um, I think even though we didn't say that the reasoning for getting him in for Cardiff was that possible aerial bombardment as well. I think that's mm -hmm. more Ruddy's game. Um, but Rui, you know, the visitor, you know, going to going to Stamford Bridge and things like that, and the big hitters. He's going back for Rui, and yeah, it's it's not it's not that great amount of a surprise. Uh, Rui's used to these big games, you know, Euro 2016 winner. He's not going to be faced by going to Stamford Bridge. John, John Rudy wouldn't either, mm. but um, you know, Rui was brought in with the aim of being the first choice keeper, and he's he's back between the sticks. Yeah, and I think one of the interesting points which Nuno really touched on was consistency, and and this Wolves team they have been consistent in the Premier League. It's going to be tough to be as consistent as you know they have been because you know you're going from the likes of Cardiff to Chelsea. It's a, it's a, a very different proposition. But do you reckon they can stay consistent with their results? Hopefully, um, and I think you know there is similarities between Wolves and Chelsea. I think both can happily play a possession game. They've got the players to do it, but mm. both have got the the pace and the guile to hurt teams on the counter attack as well. Um, you know, you're looking at it on paper. It could be a very good game for the yeah. neutral. Uh, if both teams really kind of go for it, I mean Chelsea, you know the pressure's on them really. Uh, that you know it's a kind of a free hit for Wolves. Yeah. Um, but Chelsea, the, their manager's under pressure. They desperately want to get into the top four if they can, and they'll be very much seeking a win over Wolves. But you'd like to think they'll have to commit bodies forward to try and get the win. So Wolves could have the uh, gaps to pick them off could do um, one man they will be without and in terms of consistency they can't be consistent at the back because Ryan Bennett is unavailable yes I mean who fills in for him I, it's, it's a bit of a toss up between Romain Sace and Leander Dendonka isn't it I th yeah I think so uh, personally I'd go Dendonka mm -hmm. um, I know Sace has played there uh, more so uh, just def defensively Dendonka seems more of a centre half more physically commanding um, I think you know if you're going to have balls into the box, you want Den Donker trying to head him away instead of Sace. Mm. But we'll see on that one. I mean, Sace, if you do have to keep him in the team and you have to keep him in at centre half, I mean, it's going to be harsh to drop him after his performance against Cardiff. He was he was fantastic last weekend. Um, but I mean, there is even some others that you know could potentially fill the void. I mean, mm. Nuno's alluded to Max Kilman there. Yeah. And I mean, I'd be surprised to to see him play, but he. You see like the pictures of Wolves training throughout the week, and he's very heavily featured. Um, you know, people asking who kind of this guy is, but he's very much at the forefront. He's in first team training pretty much every day now. Yeah. So Max Kilman is in Nuno's thoughts. Whether he's going to start against Chelsea, I think that's a stretch. But um, yeah, he's, he's certainly in Nuno's plans. Yeah, and a lot of quality in the Chelsea ranks too. It's going to be tough for Wolves, but 
I mean, the likes of Eden Hazard, Gonzalo Higuain. How do they go about containing this Chelsea team, do you think? Well, you've got to think who, whoever's going to be on that right side of the back three instead of Benny. He's got the task to just simply man-mark Hazard. Yeah. Um, so, do you go with someone who's a, arguably a bit more mobile in size? Or, I think some have even suggested Matt Doherty slips into that mm. role and then continue with Adama Traore at wing back and try and utilise his pace on the counter. I mean, Nuno... I mean, he's alluded to it there very much so in the press conference. He's not got um, depth in terms of options. He's got 16 outfield players, but he's got a lot of strength and mm -hmm. he's got a lot of versatility. You've got Sayson Dendonka who can play two positions. You've got Trey Ore who can now play two positions, win back or as a forward option as well. So, and Doherty, you could probably see him slipping into that back three if needed. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, Nuno has got a wealth of, wealth of options at his disposal, not in terms of you know, pure numbers, but in terms of versatility, he could go for one of maybe four options, to be honest. He could do, and uh, Joe, I'm going to ask you for your match prediction ahead of the game. Uh, I'm feeling quite optimistic. I think Wolves can come away with a point. I think there's probably going to be some goals. Um, I think Chelsea are there to be taken advantage of, really, at the mm. back. Um, I know that they've recently kind of like changed the left back situation. Alonso played in the Europa League on Thursday, so Emerson's probably going to play at left back. Not all that convinced by Rudy Garrow, who's probably going to come in at centre yeah. half. I think he can be a bit ropey at times. And we all know David Luiz has got a bit of a rick in him if he plays. Yeah. So if you know, you've know you got Jimenez and Jota showing anything like they did in that first kind of 20 minutes against Cardiff when the Bath got those two goals, I think those two can have a bit of joy against this Blues defence. So I think there will be a goal for Wolves, but I think you've got the talent of Hazard and Higuain. It's going to, and especially without Ryan Bennett, it's going to be very tough to keep a clean sheet. Tough proposition for Wolves. You can find out how they got on and keep up with all the latest news from Molyneux with us at expressandstar.com.